Hello gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Uh, continuing on uh, with this new base and the agricultural update. Since the last uh, video I did some more digging, that's about it, nothing really exciting. Uh, just work, working my way down, trying to uh, build a place for this uh, CO2 to go. So it's working pretty nicely, uh, it's flowing into here and here. Trying to build maybe a CO2 kind of pit area here. And eventually I'll put a CO2 scrubber down here somewhere. Uh, we got this water geyser cracked open. Uh, it's a little bit hot in here and eventually I'll try to cool this down if needed. This is our temporary uh, dirty water holding place which is flowing into... flowing into our filter here which then cleans it and sends it into the lavatory and the shower and it's also sending it over here. I added a liquid valve which doesn't really seem to be working or maybe I haven't figured it out yet. Even when I set it to zero it says it's still working but anyway. Um, and then I have two hydroponic tiles here and then a bunch of kind of regular farm tiles. I learned that the mealwood will, or plants will grow in a hydroponic farm even without irrigation and fertilizer. It, they'll, they'll just grow more slowly so it was good to get to good to learn. I also kind of dug up this way to try to plant some pinch of pepper plants because they need to be they need to grow in a nice warm area. They need to I think it needs to be in 35 degrees or warmer. So I thought I'd build some hydroponic farms up here and I'll just build a few across here and see how that goes. They can be mixed with uh, other foods in this uh, cooking station. So like the stuffed berry for instance. It takes bristle berry plus pinch of pepper nut. And I think it adds a thousand calories. I think that's what this means. And it's great food so it'll help with their mood once I'm able to make it. For now I'm just converting mush bars into mush fry which removes the, uh, the disease possibility. Uh, what else is going on? I found a whole bunch of polluted water, so here, 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 and here, and here, and here, and here. So since this abyss light's super strong, I'm going to attempt to just carve this out and have all of this flow into one giant polluted reservoir. I'll probably initially clear this out let this flow down and then poke these open as I need need to. Um, I'm not sure I'll be able to get that to flow over there but at least everything above it should be able to flow in. And I did find the cold biome so we got some sleet grain growing in here. Sleet wheat. Which uh, is a cold plant so maybe I'll try to get a cold growing room in here. Or I'll try to create a cold room in my base uh, we'll see which is easier. It's a, it's a really long walk, so fertilizing plants over here is probably not ideal. And we have some bleach stone in here. I might want to get a hand washing station going. Being careful not to release any chlorine. And this is the the right side of the map right here. Uh, I'm not sure how far left we can go, but just let things run here. I also saw someone else streaming. They they weren't killing any of their hatches. It seemed like they were kind of trying to protect them. I already killed a few of them just because I automatically killed them because they. I thought they were attacking our duplicates, but I have a feeling like they were set to combat and our duplicates were attacking the hatches. I'm not sure which is which, but I turned everyone off combat just to preserve these little guys, just in case they have some good uses. I mean, turning stuff into coal is a good use uh, and if we can kind of pen them in and feed them things that we don't need like um, I don't know sedimentary rock or something something we're like super abundantly like that we have lots of that we don't really need we're up to 10 duplicates um, I think I'm gonna stick with that for now because it's gonna be a lot to feed and we're kinda getting low on food already but I am planting 
more mealwood here. I noticed my mealwood seeds shot up, and I'm not sure whether it was from finding them in the area or whether they actually came from one of the plants here. I'm not really sure. Copy settings. I love this new copy settings. I don't know if priority nine is the right thing for food or not, but I also like the auto harvest. Really handy. We got lots of polluted oxygen in here, which is not great, but I'm not sure what how negative effect it has. I also put mesh tiles kind of all the way sprinkled through all the floors here. I'm not I, I do want gases to free flowly free huh, flow freely between the levels. And also if there's like a liquid mess I want it to just to drain out to the bottom. Maybe not necessarily into our clean water here, but I'm a little bit worried or I thought I was worried that this, it, I mean, it, it looks like the water's coming out really fast, but this hasn't really moved. This hasn't gone down. So maybe it's not really using as much water as I thought it, thought it was. I also got my stinky container in here, where I put my stinky stuff. So slime and polluted dirt I stick in here. Uh, the polluted dirt will end up in the compost when there's room. In fact, maybe I'll build a third compost right by the massage table. Yeah. Oh, so this broke already. That's not good. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. Uh, maybe we can plug that quickly. What do we have here? This is sedimentary rock. Let's try that. Yeah, we don't want this to fill up. The whole idea was to keep it free of water until we were ready. But I guess the slime is super weak, so it just broke through. And we gotta get into this cold area. I could attempt to take a ladder down through here, but I'm worried that this is all gonna break. We could go underneath, right to this abyssalite. That could work. Get this algae while we're at it. That might work. I kind of just wanted to leave it though, so this it became this massive uh, natural water reservoir. But I could probably cut through maybe here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So two layers and then a ladder. I'm doing everything as nine, which I said I wouldn't do, but oh, we got pressure damage already. Hmm. Maybe we need granite. I like how when slime is underwater, it doesn't emit its oxygen, so it's kind of you can kind of preserve it in there. Unreachable, so they can't run across here. Too deep, I guess. I don't think a bislight can crack. I've never seen it break. Straight into the cold biome. This is all cracking. Interesting. Just kind of under its own pressure. Good, I guess. This might save us some work. I mean, this is not critical or anything, but it'll be nice to have a giant tank of dirty water. It's always handy. We got a little puffed over here. Eventually we'll crack this open and try to get some slime when we need it. But we got plenty of slime on the map. He's also our... He should be making clean oxygen in here. I don't... And maybe this is... Oh, there's a tiny bit up here. It's still pretty fast. Like the game... But I can notice the ever slightest slowdown in performance. Unless I'm way over on the right hand side of the map. They... Uh, they they maybe shrunk the map to make performance a bit better. New duplicate. Anyone good? Uh, learning. I heard that getting strength is good because there's no way to train up strength. I always go for high learning because then the things they can learn, they learn really fast. But I might try to go with a combo of strength and learning going forward. Uh, I'll try to crack into this this episode and get our natural gas geyser going. Let's see what we need for that. I saw the devs do a, a like a Twitch stream and they built built a power thing. Okay, so let's see. Power. Uh, natural gas generator. I don't even know what this thing does. Okay, I think it leaks water. We may want to put on some mesh tile. 
This is the first time building it, so I don't really know. Let's put some mesh tile along here. Oops. I did see kind of a, an ex exploit. I don't want to... I'm going to try it out, but I don't want to really use it long term. If you make an airlock and you kind of dig a little hole under it, you can... the tubes can run under and they won't have to open the airlock, but it serves to seal up the area. I'm not one for using exploits, but I want to try it out. Because if you set your base up with this uh, a lot and then they patch it, you have to go and fix everything, so better just to play by the rules first. But I want to try it out, so. I guess we have to drain this water out in order to get the gas going. Maybe I should have used this one. Give it a place to go. The water. I thought in this update they might make a use for chlorine, but seems like they didn't. That I know of. I'm gonna get these little morbs polluting our base. Should be good. Free oxygen. I might want to make another circuit right down here. Because this one's starting to overload. What do we got on this? Uh, maybe. Maybe put the plumbing stuff on this circuit and the rest on that circuit. I probably have too many massage tables. But they only consume power when they're being used, so let's destroy this wire here. Pressure damage? From what? What is going on here? Huh? They're just going bananas here. What's going on? Is that water pressure damage? No, there's no water there. What the heck was going on there? Maybe because... Can, can wire go through mesh tile? Hope so. Pressure damage. I don't know if this is a bug or not. Okay. You don't like putting it there? I will go around it. If that's what it's complaining about. Pressure damage. That was very weird. I'm curious about this mesh. Well, we already have a wire going through here. Why couldn't it do it here? Yeah, if you guys know what's going on here, please leave a comment, because... Got some copper stuck in there now. Oh, I set reset the massage table so they're... They get on at 30 and they get off at 0. I think that's probably good. And I should probably sweep some of this garbage up. Keep the base clean and tidy. Especially the bedrooms. We want low stress when they're sleeping. If you watch my last few videos back, my last thermal update video, uh, my last, I killed off all my duplicates while I went AFK for 14 hours, and my last duplicate, Bubbles, she didn't need any food anymore. She was not eating and cycles were ticking by, so that was definitely a bug. I don't know how she got in that state, but, okay, food at last. Can we make anything with that meal lice? in vinegar. Pollution exposure. Oh, interesting. They need clean oxygen to grow. Well then, let's give them a clean room. Oh, we got a pickled meal. 200 calories. How much is just the meal lice? 100. This takes, so it takes 300 calories and it's supposed to add 100. Pickled meal, 200 cal calories. Okay, this is not really clear what's going on here. Does it have 200 calories or does it have 100 calories?
It's kind of not. I'm not. I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm, I'm gonna have to read up on that. I'm gonna seal up all but one and see if the clean oxygen stays in here or not. Oh, we got cold biome here. Nice. Now yeah, we need a place for all this to flow into. And I see they're running under this thing. And I think it's keeping it sealed. But I'm not sure. Suffocating. Oh, Hassan. Get out of there. Can you get out of there now? Yep. Oh, you silly little bugger. This is so funny. <laughs> it's a funny bug. I'm not sure I trust it, but I guess if it works, it works. How's our 16% uh, grown? Oh, is it getting uh, water now? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, that's good. Now, how are they doing? Ideal air pressure, harvest rating, predicted yield. 9.8 out of 100. So what does it need? What does it need to get perfect? Uh, I'm not sure. We can build a few more of them. Upside down hydroponic tiles. Priority 9, of course. Ah, look at this nice little basin here. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Oh, we actually have three natural gas geysers. One, two, three. Holy moly. That's a lot of gas. Okay, this is going to bur burst open any second now. It's a race against time. Will the dam burst before they're done? And while they're at it, they might as well do this too. Go, boys, go! Even the gold amalgam is breaking down. Oh, there it goes. So the natural gas should start coming out. There's some. It's popped out. Okay, power. Natural gas generator. Stick it here, I guess. And we'll figure out how we work this thing. I think I saw in the video that you had to get it some initial power to get it pumping. This gas seems to be flowing down, not up. Okay, what do we need here? Power. Intake and output. So I guess we need to suck up the gas in here. No gas output. What gas does it output? CO2 probably. Let's assume it's CO2. So let's build gas pipe. This is the output. So let's just assume it's CO2 and for now just chuck it here. Just to see how this thing works. Gas vent. And we need an input of gas. I need to, I'm gonna need to build a gas pump down here. I'm assuming I'll put a gas pump here. Probably want this to be a sealed room. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's build a ladder down here. <laughs> and a temporary ladder over here. 
and we can only send natural gas in there so we're gonna need filter gas filter so I'm not sure this is gonna work but we're gonna have a sealed room it's gonna pump the gas filter with natural gas send it into this thing and oh it's generating power okay and it's I think it's spewing out dirty water okay which we could let it we could let it drain into here we seal this off let's destroy this ladder and seal this off with granite and open this up and let the water flow down here I think that might work I mean a little bit of natural gas got out super high pressure in here so let's use heavy watt wire power transformer this thing is giant So I'm getting gas vent over pressure here. So I'm going to try to make some space for it to flow into. I don't know if that's going to help. I mean, it says battery is sufficiently full, but the battery is empty. It looks like it's connected. Maybe it needs to flow through this door. Could put a door here instead. All a learning experience. Oh, it's running again. Oh no, it was running. But mixed polluted water, that's pretty interesting. Guess you can't run heavy wa wire through doors. So I think I figured this natural gas power generator out. Took a while, but uh, so it needs a power output, which I have with this heavy watt wire here going to a transformer, and then from there I step it down output and put put it into the base to power some stuff. And but to get these this pump and the filter working, I needed a power source, got a chicken and egg thing, so I made a power wheel here and a battery to power this and I have a filter here which filters natural gas sends it to the natural gas generator which works fine but then all the other gas has to go somewhere so I send it just out here but it's over pressurized in here it's sending polluted oxygen out which is fine we can actually send that to the base because that's going to be should only be oxygen because all that's in here right now is polluted oxygen and natural gas but the CO2 that's coming from the natural gas generator gets sent up here I was sending it to the base but that's not good obviously I was sending it here but this is over pressure as well even though around it is fairly low concentration, so I don't really understand what's going on there. So when it's running, it, it fills up the batteries really quickly, so this thing's got some good power output. It spits out polluted water, which is good I guess. So let's send that gas send that gas into the base and deconstruct these pipes because they're not very useful 
So it should send CO2 here and polluted oxygen here. And we're going to need a vent for that. There we go. So, polluted oxygen coming out. And should have, oh yeah, some natural gas eventually coming out. There's some. And this should be powered. Sending CO2 out to this overpressurized area. Creating lots of polluted water. It'll keep going till the batteries are full. I'm not sure it's the greatest thing, but these batteries are full, and yet it's still pumping away. I wonder if I can put batteries along this line too. Let's try. Should be okay. Yeah, there we go. Look how fast it charges the battery. Wow impressive. I don't know why it's still running and the battery is full. These batteries are full. It says the batteries are full but it's still pumping away. Don't understand. In fact I don't understand how it's running without It has no natural gas going in. Oh, now it's idle. Okay, that was weird. Let's put a few more batteries there. This might get too hot. Guess we'll find out. And you can't put this heavy watt wire through tile, which kind of sucks, but... We did, did get a little bit of natural gas in the base during all that. It seems to sink. Cause I don't see any up here. So it's a big CO2 producer, which is kind of not what we want. Our polluted water level hasn't gone down at all, which is weird. Because we're supposed to be consuming it by these hydroponics and these hydroponics. So the heavy wet wire is really bad for decor, minus 300. So you don't want your dupes going in here very often. So I might... Uh, move this hamster wheel out and put it here so they don't have to go in there at all, ever. I think that would be better. I'm not really sure how we deal with this overpressure issue. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know. So with this wheel here, they should never have to go in here for anything except to clean up stuff. Once it's cleaned it should be... Oh, I forgot. We can't do this here. We need a place for the water to go. So I, can't, I have to open this up. I could try to drain it over here, but this will be fine for now. Food shortage. Got a cold biome down here too, which is handy. Yeah, this natural gas is flowing up. We don't want that. So now that this is built and I think it's hooked up, yeah. We can seal it off. And that way they won't. They shouldn't go in here anymore. Except for some cleanup. 13 strength. I don't know if the buff is on top of that, but. This would be a really good person to do delivery. So I'm gonna take them even though we're kind of full already. Let's we'll start exploring to the left here. See what we have. Just making more places for the CO2 to go. Because it is kind of collecting in the bottom of our base. I don't like how this natural gas is creeping into the base. Even though we have this airlock here. I don't know where it's all coming from because 
But I guess it was all from here, this column. Because this is a sealed room. We may need a pump here to send it back in there. This episode has gotten really long though, so I'm gonna wrap things up here. I think we had some pretty good progress. Oxygen levels are looking good. Explored quite a bit. Got some new foods going. Got a giant amount of polluted water here and on the left. Got our natural gas generator going. Which I'm not sure is the, the greatest thing because what are we going to do with all the CO2? I guess is the question. I'll have a think about that. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want alerts on future videos. And as always, thanks for watching.